during the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, the Prophet, peace be upon him, agreed with certain terms and conditions. And one of them was not to have war for 10 years. And the remaining conditions, they were in the favor of the Quraysh. So the Sahaba, they were disappointed. Why would the Prophet, peace be upon him, agree with these conditions? But it was the hikmah. It was the wisdom of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. During the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, the Prophet, peace be upon him, had only 1,400 men with him. Whereas, after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, after two years, during the conquest of Makkah, no less than 10,000 people had embraced Islam. Just in the span of two years, thousands of people had embraced Islam. They had entered into the fold of Islam. And during the conquest of Makkah, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, returns back to Makkah, the people of Makkah, the people of Quraysh, they are worried. What will the Prophet, peace be upon him, do with them? These were the very same people who had tortured and persecuted the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, on this very day, he tells the people of Makkah that all those in Abu Sufyan's house are safe. All those in the precincts of the Kaaba are safe. All those in their houses are safe. The Prophet, peace be upon him, granted security and safety to the people of Makkah. And on this very day, the Prophet, peace be upon him, tells the people of Makkah, Go away, for you are free today. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was the liberator of humanity. He forgave all of these people. These were the very people of Makkah who had tortured and persecuted the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But the Prophet forgave all of them. This was the hikmah, the wisdom of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was a rahmatul alameen. There is a mercy for the entire humanity.